Welcome back, Sagittarius. This is for July of 2019. Spirit uh, does not have timelines, but I give it one the best I can. So I already laid out your spread, how this goes. This is south, what lies in front of you. West, what lies behind you with a clarifier. East, what lies in front of you with a clarifier. And the action that it's going to make or the action that you need to take. Okay, I am Brandy. Thank you for returning if you're returning. And thank you to the new people coming to watch. Okay, you don't understand how much that means to me. We've reached a second plateau on YouTube. Awesome for letting me share my gift with you. Okay, so let's just dive right in to this reading. There is sadness. Okay, sadness. That is either over love loss financial okay five of pentacles not dead just lost a pedal okay that's how we need to look at it just lost a pedal which can be regained with nourishment because of a choice that you had to make with the two of wands you had to make a decision, which could be very recent past or coming to this choice was to purify you, to clear up the smog, to re-nurture yourself, to water yourself. Now, I don't feel like, well, actually, this could be health. Someone could be ill. This could be for a specific someone. You need to drink a little more water and pay a little more attention to your body. Okay, we're made of water. Give it water. Okay, try for, you know, three 16-ounce glasses a day and how much that's going to uh, improve your body, mind, and soul. Other than that, I think it'll be okay. Just take a little more heed to your, your health. But this is washing things that are not needed away because you made the choice and with this solar eclipse and everything again this month makes sense a lot of people are releasing things you wouldn't believe so um i i, I know my moods are even fluctuating so god bless you <laughs> uh so you've made this choice which has kind of put you in a sadness or you had to make a choice forced to make a choice to purify your surroundings, to take a kind of like a loss, and you're you're sad about it. But with the Daughter of Cups, what lies ahead of you from this? That is something that literally disturbed your peace, disturbed your flow. Because the Daughter of Cups in this deck is a very creative, nurturing person. Okay. Thing, person. Apply it wherever it needs to go. It's gender neutral, not gender bias. Okay. If you want a more general reading, you can contact me at Torian Tarot at 84 G at <laughs> Torian Tarot 84 at gmail.com. Sorry. You will find it actually down below in the description as well. Okay. Um, and to clarify, the Daughter of Cups is effortless and waterfall, which is saying stop fighting the feeling. Okay. You're trying to force something from this decision that you have made. And it's not natural. And you're needing to kind of go with the flow, the in and out of your feelings. Because by not doing that, it's blocking you. And with the emperor as the move to make, that is stabilizing. That is getting your grounding back and seeing clearly and being a badass that's stabilized, all right? And the Emperor is usually like Aries, but I'm going to link it to a fire sign, which is you. You're needing to regain your grounding from, from this loss that you've taken. And to learn to just let things disappear, wash away, 
as they need to be and not fight it. That's going to help you to stabilize yourself and return return back to your caring um, self. You know, handling things, mastering your emotions, and not feeling at a loss. Okay, you may need to take a moment for yourself and focus on what it is that you actually want so you can come to this complete full circle and emerge back. Okay. <sighs> can I please have clarifiers on the past? Purification, two of wands for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Uh, okay, okay. Death. Death, releasing, purifying, transforming. You let something go, or the universe forced it, but it was for your highest good. It is not in the reverse. Death is not a scary card. Death is transformation. Death is releasing negative things that are not in your highest good. Okay. One more card for death, please. <laughs> something. Something you worked hard on but never flourished. Let me know in the comments. Something you worked hard on but never flourished. And you had to let it go. That could be love or a job. It's a loss. You feel very sad about it. Okay. Very sad. This could be a lover. Okay, I don't I don't ask for love. I ask for what's pulled out in front of me. The ace of cups in the reverse. Something did not fulfill you that you thought was going to fulfill you. Can I get a clarifier for what lies in front of them? The daughter of cups and effortless, please. Daughter of cups and effortless for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sagittarius. Daughter of Cups and Effortless. Sorry, that one. Is the Nine of Cups. Okay. So I get a clarifier for Nine of Cups. The Sun. The Sun. And Justice underneath that. Balancing, made the right choice, karma, regaining your clarity, regaining your passion. All right, nine, 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 nine. everything means something different here. Ah, bliss and harmony, wishes come true, worries and fear will be cast away. A new peace of mind and harmony awaits you. The world seems to be granting your every wish. Good health, I told someone, your health, okay. Maybe you had to let a person or a addiction go, but the devil's not here. I'm uh, just, it's a way that you had to make here. You had to purify your surroundings. Okay. Happiness is coming back into you from this loss. All right. Happiness is coming back from this loss. And you're regaining your vitality. Okay, so someone definitely has a health issue here. Don't take that. So you escape this, all right? You escape the death by making new choices and realizing that wasn't working. That's not filling your cup. You're purifying yourself. You feel kind of out of lack, though. Other of you, you had to release a whole person or a job, which would kind of make you feel at a loss here imbalanced but the sun's coming in to give you your vitality back to enlighten you to help you regain your happiness and your stabilization all right it's going to be a nourishing healing power you may not feel so many aches and pains anymore um you'll realize how much water actually helps you uh as weird as that sounds water helps so much in your life and I have to remember that myself because I drink a crap ton of coffee which I think I left outside <laughs> I'm always drinking coffee you know 
you, it's going to help you regain that energy and that vitality, like I said, uh, which is like, <sighs> that, that helps you gain the clarity alone whenever you feel imbalanced with yourself, you know? You know, go outside, take a walk, even if it's just like down the street and right back. You'll it'll learn to make you more grateful for what you have, to feel you know the wind and stuff on on your body. It helps you stabilize, you know, stabilization, stabilization. I want to. <laughs> You see justice and emperor, stabilization, balancing of the scales. All right. Spirit, can I get a little wisdom? A little wisdom and clarity for my Sagittarius. I like these divine door cards. Walk about. Walk about. It seems fitting. You discover your path in a sacred walkabout. The trees are your people, the earth is your tribe. An indigenous lesson, you find the will to survive. One more, please, for Sagittarius. A little wisdom from a Sagittarius. Falls to the ground. Bless this space. Clear that toxic ass energy. Get you some peyote, all right? It's like literally a dollar for two sticks. I love this stuff. Your sacred space holds the soul to bear. Palo Santo, I don't know why I call that. Palo Santo or sage will clear the air. Clear your space. Say a little healing for you, you know, a little more water. And begin here. Take in that loss. You know, learn that you can't fight what needs to go man. It has to go. Please let me know what's going on, Saj. Um, I appreciate your ongoing support, and I'll catch you on the flip side, my love.